welcome you guys here for another Taste Test Tuesday. I am going to be transforming box cakes into gourmet cakes, apparently. Basically, I had somebody in my life about a year ago, this has been in my head for a year. <gasps> I said, I'm making a box cake, like that's what I'm doing, and it's gonna be blah, because it's a box cake. They were like, why don't you add pudding to it? And I was like, what? And they said, it'll just make it not box cakey tasty, and it'll just be a gourmet cake. And I was like, wait, what? I had that thought in my head for a year now, and recently I was like, I wanna make a gourmet box cake. I googled, wait, how much pudding? And it popped up, how to make your box cakes be bakery, baked in store, the most delicious cakes ever, with these simple little tips. But I was like, I'm gonna do them all. <laughs> but I'll show you guys what the difference is. So I bought two. They're both French vanilla, one regular, and then one with all of the gourmet bakery tricks. And we'll bake them and see if they taste any different or what's the tea on that. I get requested to make cooking videos, taste test videos, make your own taste test things. So if you don't like this, go to the next video in a couple days. I don't know what to tell you. Let's do it. Straight up good as a moonlight. <gasps> I'm a robot man, woman. Don't assume gender, you bitch. Ah! <laughs> Yum. So this one's the basic bitch way. You're just gonna put the mix in. One cup of water, half cup of vegetable oil. Just do what your box cake says, cause it might say like seven cups of water, if you're the basic way. Freely's gagging. Just gonna stir this all up. Okay, that mix is done. Now, for the fancy fancy. We need a different attire for this. Chef. So now we're gonna make the extra one. <laughs> what if it just blows up? Can you really trust the internet? What are the things I have to do? Use whole milk instead of water. So we have 3.25% homogenized milk. Homogenized, homogenized? One cup. Milk. It gives it a denser texture like homemade. Okay. Use three to four eggs instead of two for a richer taste. So what does it say? This one says instead of two. Well, we didn't use two originally, we used three. So and it says use three to four. So that would mean like five to six, right? Holy shit, that's a lot of Frenching eggs. Should I just use four? <laughs> and it'll give it a richer taste. Ew, it's like little snot. I say ew and then eat it. Me eating ass. I'm just kidding. Am I? <laughs> I'm using five. Next. Add a quarter cup to a cup of sugar and flour to your cake mix. Quarter cup each or all together? I'm a chef, I should know, bye. Okay, so sugar and flour in this quarter cup. Okay, doesn't say why on there, it didn't say why. It said why for everything else, just not this one. What? Sour cream. Now, remember when I said pudding at the beginning of this? Pudding, and that's what the person suggested to me. Okay, well there is pudding on here as a suggestion. They are do the same thing. It gives it a richer flavor and moisture, the pudding and the sour cream. I was reading that sour cream was better than the pudding because it doesn't just add like the sugar, it, it gets like that moisture in there. So we will do a half a cup of sour cream, a rich, dense flavor. Oh no, my cream is sour. So obviously you don't have to do all these tricks, girl, but I mean, just if you're making a cake, do one of these. So here's a half a cup of sour cream. Why isn't it coming out? Why isn't it coming out? <laughs> vanilla and salt. Add a teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter teaspoon of salt to the mix. Milly vanilla, 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 a vanilla, a vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla and a little bit more because we love it. And just a little bit more because we really like it. And a lot more better than that. And a little bit of salt. It says instead of the vegetable oil, because there's also vegetable oil ingredients on here or directions, use melted butter in place of the vegetable oil for a richer taste. So it's gonna be like everything's like for a richer taste. So I'm doing like everything because we're rich. Look at us. We have Hello Kitty on our tip. Look, we're rich. Mm, a half a cup of vegetable oil. So we're gonna do a half a cup of melted butter. Girl, I'm gonna gain 80 pounds just out off of one bite. Ooh, that looks good. It smells like a homemade cake. And then there are things like mix-ins, like you could add chocolate chips or almonds or something. I'm gonna skip that. Ah, good thing we're wearing an apron. Yeah, it doesn't smell like box cake mix. I think it's the vanilla in there. This one's lumpy. Here's the box cake mix. And here is the other cake mix. Box cake mix. Get in there, bitch, you can do it. Give me a second. Now. And now, 
the gourmet. This one just smells amazing. We are gonna bake these for about a half an hour. Let's, let's do it. See you guys in half an hour. Yo, it's done! Oh, oh, okay. Um, this is not done. The homemade one is like completely jiggly in the middle. Here are our cakes. The gourmet one took longer. It smells good, it smells like a box cake. It's more vanilla-y than that one. Let's put them on plates because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> do you put cakes on plates? You heard of snakes on a plane, but have you heard of cakes on a plate? <laughs> what? <gasps> okay, well it worked. That's the gourmet girl one. This one doesn't just do that. What? Okay, so the gourmet one's winning already. Oh, and my icing expired. So we're just gonna taste the cake in its natural habitat. What is happening? Okay, box cake can... Suck my dick, suck my dick. Like, what is happening? Oh. <laughs> this is going well. This is going well. This is going well. Okay, sis, this one's way better. Like, <laughs> which one do you think is better? My mom is at home shaking. It's not a waste because I could make cake pops out of this. Okay, let's try the box, okay? Mmm. It's dry. It's very box cakey. Oh my god, it's like flaking and falling apart, but it's very fluffy. Now, ugh, why does it smell like that? It smells like chicken. Why would it smell like chicken? For what? For what? Oh my god. Okay, it smells horrendous, but it's way different. This one's very dry, not really a lot of flavor. It just tastes like fake, fake tasting. This one is so moist and dense like this. Oh my god. Spongy. It's got a lot of kickback. It's so moist. It's like completely different. It's completely different. It's more vanilla-y. It like completely took away that fake taste. Honestly, I don't get that like box cake at all. Hmm, maybe just a little bit. Like if I really am like, okay, is this a box cake? I wouldn't say it's like a gourmet, like when you go into a bakery, that's what you're gonna find. But doing simple little things like that to a box cake, people might think you spent hours doing it. And like beating shit and like measuring. Mmm, it is really good. So good, it feels so good in my hands too. Feeling it like this and then feeling this. Yeah, it's like crumbly. That's my taste test. But I'm actually shocked. That is like, wait, I thought it was gonna like taste the same. I'm not sure why it smells disgusting chicken bones or something. I don't know. Don't smell it. Don't smell it. Just eat it. Thank you guys so much for watching this taste test Tuesday. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Subscribe if you guys want more drama. <laughs> There's no drama here. Like literally no drama. Love all, love all cakes. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.